It certainly isn't for console-centric gamers looking for authenticity, nor is it for PC aficionados looking to crank the highest possible frame rates and resolutions out of their games. But mobile gaming is more popular than it has ever been. As the casual gamers of today continue to embrace it, it will only continue its steady climb in popularity for the coming years. With a popular way to play games generally comes options and shades of different ways to do it. Much like the PC space, mobile gaming has an absolute plethora of options. Most would agree that the best way to decide on a gaming phone is to see how much power, accessibility, and functionality can be crammed into a phone for the most reasonable price tag. It's a balance that won't be quite the same for everybody, as everybody generally has different priorities here and there. But from the wimpy to the beastly and everything in between, there are surely at least a few options out there that check enough boxes on any given gamer's checklist, including price limitations, to warrant serious consideration in 2020. So, with the latter being the primary focus for many of us, Here's our 2020 top 5 list of the best budget phones to game on. Moto G8 Power Remember Motorola? Well, Motorola remembers you, and the Moto G8 Power is the company's latest attempt to hold on to the market share it currently has while also bringing a reasonable amount of gamer-friendly specs into their hands for cheap. As one of the long-standing major mobile phone companies, Motorola brings out a reasonable phone here with a nice 1080p 6.4-inch screen, a lightweight, and one of the better batteries around 5,000 mAh. While the somewhat aging Snapdragon 665 and 4GB of RAM probably won't knock your socks off, it is still more than able to handle most mobile gamers' needs throughout the day, without dying on you before you plug it back in at night. It's no powerhouse, and it isn't particularly impressive in any one way outside of the battery. But for around 200 bucks, this isn't a bad deal at all. The iPhone SE 2020 Any normal list of great phones, no matter what your focus is on, will likely include an iPhone. Apple hasn't maintained its relevance and influence in the smartphone market, a market it basically created for no reason. One blind spot Apple has been working to improve upon in recent years, however, is the lower-end market, where people don't necessarily want to drop the price of a reasonably used car on a phone. A lot of folks are just looking for something affordable that specializes in one or two things, and the 2020 iPhone SE is just that. This phone comes with Apple's standard 64, 128, and 256GB storage options, a reasonable battery, and a 12-megapixel rear camera. What shines best about the phone, though, is its processor, which is basically the exact same one from the iPhone 11, which is all you need to run the vast majority of mobile games out there without any issues. Some of the more graphically demanding titles, like Asphalt 9, might struggle a bit, with the 3 gigabytes of RAM being the phone's biggest bottleneck, at least on paper. But for the most part, gaming will do fine here. As with all budget phones, however, there will be some sacrifices and not even Apple can escape this reality. Here, the front-facing camera is 7 megapixels, the bezel is fairly noticeable, and the overall size of the phone is quite a bit smaller than most modern mobile gamers would probably prefer, with only a 4.7-inch 720p screen. That said, the smaller size and lower resolution does give the iPhone SE a lighter weight than most gaming phones will have, and lets the iOS platform run as smoothly as any other iPhones does. All things considered, this is a very decent gaming phone for around 400 bucks. Obviously, if you're already invested in the iOS ecosystem, this phone might feel like a reflex choice for you, and thankfully it won't be a disappointing one, if gaming and price points are your top concerns. Poco F2 Pro If you are willing to spend another 100 bucks or so, you end up with a lot more options than the iPhone SE. The Poco F2 Pro is one of those options, and you will immediately feel the small upgrade in several areas, like the overall material, the size, and a much more gamer-friendly 6.5-inch screen. The Poco F2 Pro has some standout features, like an adorable pop-up camera, 8K video, and a fairly beefy battery, the latter of which will definitely be noticeable upon running the phone through several gaming sessions. 
While the refresh rate and resolution of the screen are fairly standard for gaming in 2020, you're likely to notice a nice bump in performance from the previous year's budget phones. With its Snapdragon 865 and 6GB of RAM, which could also be 8 depending on the model you get. Speaking of getting it, if you're interested in this and live in the US, get ready to buy from overseas because this phone is not currently sold in the West. That said, while there are more fully featured gaming phones out there in this price range, the bump in RAM and the Snapdragon processor will handle almost anything you want to play on it, and if you're somewhat thrifty, you can probably get it for under 500 bucks. Google Pixel 4a Weighing in at 143 grams and standing at 144 millimeters, the Google Pixel 4a comes out as a very handsome package for those who value value. Sort of like the iPhone SE, the Google Pixel 4a is perhaps a tad smaller and less striking aesthetically than something that would normally draw the attention of a mobile gamer, but unlike the iPhone SE, the Google Pixel 4a over delivers under the hood with a snappy Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G and twice the amount of RAM of its iPhone contemporary for about the same price. A 5.8-inch screen and a standard 60Hz refresh rate won't blow your mind, but virtually every other aspect of this phone that gamers need to concern themselves with is top-notch for the price. With 128 gigs of storage standard, this phone will not only play all your games well, but it will also store them all well. Given the ultra-optimized version of Google's Android that you'll experience on a phone made by the same company, this phone will have none of the bloat and other inefficiencies you're more likely to run into with Samsung or LG. Don't let the understated look and low price fool you. If you're looking for a budget gaming phone and don't want to spend over 400 bucks, there is basically no reason to not at least consider the Google Pixel 4a. Nubia Red Magic 5G at around 600 big ones, this phone barely qualifies as a budget device, but due to its sheer amount of gamer-centric features and overall value, it's impossible to not bend the rules just a bit to include it. This is not a phone really aimed at the casual gamer, but rather more of a mobile gaming enthusiast. As such, its specs should jump off the page to anyone looking for a great gaming phone that won't completely break the bank with the much more modern Snapdragon 865, 8-12 gigabytes of RAM, a similar battery to the Moto G8 Power, and a slightly larger than 6.5-inch screen, this is where you really start to get your money's worth if you're willing to spend it on a mid-range gaming phone. But the Nubia doesn't stop at a good spec list. This phone has some real hardcore gamer features that you usually don't see for under a grand a dedicated cooling fan system, nice shoulder buttons, as well as a blazing 144Hz refresh rate are more than enough reason to bump up your budget a little bit if you can. And it will certainly bring the most out of mobile games on the market today. Are these features necessary? Well, for most mobile gamers, no. But if you want a true gaming-centric phone, it's hard to pass them up. That said, the ventilation openings in the phone's case do somewhat nullify all of the advancements and water resistance that phones have made recently, so that is something to keep in mind. While there are some sacrifices in other non-gaming related areas, like the fairly unremarkable camera set, this phone knows its audience, and that is the hardcore mobile gamers. As such, it makes the top of our 2020 list for budget gaming phones. If the lack of water resistance or the price point turns you off, hey, anything from the Google Pixel 4a on down to the rest of the list or the litany of other phones that didn't quite make our top five all provide reasonable solutions to your gaming needs. While many of these factors are to taste, one thing that is certain is that 2020 is a great time to be a mobile gamer and looking for a deal. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed and would like to see more, feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to ensure you'll be notified when new videos go up.